Okay, what is up there YouTube? This is J-Man Time and today I have a video on one of the most forgotten homemade submarines that was made by an American inventor way back in 1934. In fact, this is one of the few homemade submarines that were actually recorded during the early 20th century that were made by small-time American inventors. And this submarine here is known as the Connett submarine from 1934. And it was developed by a young man way back in the early 1930s during the Great Depression. Now the man who invented this submarine was named Byron Connett, who was a young 20-something year old inventor from the state of Indiana. And in 1934, he unveiled his prototype one-man midget submarine, which was tested in Wolf Lake in Indiana in 1934. He had actually started working on the submarine back in 1931 when he was in his late teens or earlier 20s. Now the submarine is a queer fish-like submarine, is what it was described as. It was a 10 foot long, 34 inch high electric submarine powered by a small electric engine. It had a detachable hatch and it could move at a speed of just 15 knots. This vessel had an endurance of about 45 minutes and it could dive at least one to three feet at maximum. Now what made this submarine so interesting is the fact that it was made during the Great Depression. Keep in mind, not that many Americans back then had the money to make a homemade submarine, especially not one that was meant to be a prototype that could be mass produced. Byron Connett at least put as much money as he could into developing this homemade submarine. Now again, it was tested in an area known as Wolf Lake, which is in Indiana, and that's basically where this story kind of ends. Now, this footage was actually recorded by Universal News, which was a news organization at the time, and not that much was revealed after 1934 about the submarine or where it even is today. It's just a little tidbit, or I guess a historical footnote from the development of personal submarines, at least American personal submarines, in the 1930s in this case. Now, today you have many inventors who have their own homemade personal submarines, or semi-submersibles in some cases. Some of these are fully submersible, and some of these are semi-submersible, meaning they can only dive a few feet instead of being able to dive 100 feet or more like a true submarine. But this Byron Connett submarine from 1934 was one of the rare Great Depression era experimental personal submarines that were developed by, in this case, an American citizen. So what do you all think of this rare submarine project from the 1930s? Please tell me in the comment section below. And until next time, this was J-Man Time signing off. Also, I think I will start a series on narco submarines. Those are homemade submarines used by drug traffickers in Latin America, but also in places like Asia, Europe, and Africa also. So look for that in the future.